What's up guys, Magic Knives here, and today I'm bringing to you a airsoft review on the Umarex HK USP9 gas blowback pistol. This was an emotional purchase for me. If I didn't say that 24 and Jack Bauer inspired me to buy this gun, I'd be lying to you right now. So, this is fully licensed by Umarex since HK gave Umarex the permission to have all their correct trademarks on this so it looks so real to the real thing which is awesome first off we'll start with the magazine this is a green gas gun so it comes with a green gas magazine this magazine can hold up to 25 rounds even though it states on the on the websites that it only holds 22 but I've tried it it hold 25 rounds which the more the merrier it fits really snug when you load it into the magwell, has a very nice solid click to it. The mag release is right at the front of the grip, which personally I find to be quite stiff. I cannot just use my thumb to because it's actually pretty far forward, hard for me to reach. And even if I use my middle finger, it's still I'm still unable to drop the mag. So I actually have to use my thumb and my middle finger together in order to release the mag. So for now this is the way you uh, unload the magazine of the gun. Now the grip is really nice uh, texture to it. It's got on the front, you'll notice on the front and back just like so. It kind of digs into your hand a little bit which uh, when you first get this it, it may bother you slightly but over time the more you use it will probably wear down a little bit so it's less uh, uncomfortable but either way the texturing itself ensures you have a nice firm grip and it's not going to slip out of your hand for any reason whatsoever. The safety is on the left side of the gun however I do believe you can switch it over to the right side based on the same white line on the right side of the gun as it is on the left. To put it on safe you can just use your thumb to flip it up and to take it off safe you just flip it back down and given that this is a double action gun meaning you can pull the trigger without pulling the hammer back you can pull the hammer back like so and also you can cock the hammer and fire it in single action as well and when the hammer is cocked if you want to decock the hammer all you gotta do is take the safety pull down and it'll decock the hammer but it will only cock it about halfway that way in case you want to cock the hammer with your thumb you can you can do so now the slide of the release is only found on the left side you cannot place it on the right side so you will have to deal with that this is mostly a right handed shooting gun for the most part to disassemble the gun, you just take the mag out, take the slide release out just by moving the slide back slightly so that it's aligned with the gap. Once you take the pen out, you can carefully move the slide forward and just like that you can lube your gun up, maintain it and such. To put it back together, same thing, you just place the slide back on from the front all the way and line it up with the gap take the slide release place it back into the hole and you have pretty much put it all back together to adjust the hop up the you can you actually get a little flathead screw driver that goes right here and which is great because you don't have to take the gun apart take this uh, screwdriver place it into the screw clockwise is to add increase hop turning it counterclockwise is to decrease hop Tokyo Marui makes a version of this however the metal the slide itself is made out of plastic versus this being made out of metal you should get a bit more kick out of this gun compared to the Tokyo Marui version but needless to say, 
both kind of have their pros and cons when it comes to metal and plastic slides. The FPS that you can get out of this, because it is a green gas gun, will vary. Right now I'm getting about 297 or around 300 FPS. However, on the website they do say you can get around 350 FPS, but that's probably around the summertime. Right now it's close to winter so it's not shooting as hard, but you're going to be fine with 300 FPS, no doubt. The sights themselves are your typical three dot sights. Very standard, but very easy to uh, acquire your targets. If you wish to attach some accessories to this, you would need to get either a rail adapter or you would have to get attachments specific to the USP. With no BBs in the magazine and the chamber is cleared, I will show you how the recoil is for this pistol. I'm going to hold the slide release down and check this out. As you can see, it's got a really nice kick, especially with the metal slide. It just, you feel the shock going right through your arms. So, people will debate whether, you know, you should go with the metal slide or plastic slide. With the metal slide, you do, you do get a nice kick to it, but this does mean if you are playing in colder environments, you may suffer from gas efficiency and in terms of the slide being able to fully move back and forth. Plastic slides, since they are lighter, they will have an easier time to cycle, but they are less durable than metal slides. So if you're looking for more durability and more realism and and a better blowback feeling, I would say you would want to stick with the Umarex USP9. I've got some footage of myself shooting this pistol at an airsoft shooting range, so I'm going to show you that right now. So I hope you enjoy that footage. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this airsoft review on the Umarex USP9 gas blowback pistol. If you have any more questions about this pistol, leave them down in the comments. As I said, I'm a huge fan of this pistol and I hope you enjoy this gun as much as I do. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below and I hope to see you guys in my future videos. Until next time, peace out.